Welcome back to the Fire Emblem Character Classic Modes. Last time we went through Marth's Kingdom of Dragons, and now it's time for... Not my boy, but Roy. So, as you can see, I've already done this, but as you can probably tell by the high score and by the intensity... I did incredibly badly, and I just realized that this isn't technically blind anymore, so I'm allowed to get two opens. I'm gonna try this again and see if I can do better this time, because I sucked horribly on my first Roy run of Classic. So, I'm gonna be using this color scheme here, which a lot of people say is based off of Elliewood. I think it's kind of like Nidian as well. So, let us begin. I'll be starting on 5.0 again. So from what I've heard, if you get to 9.9 .9 before uh, the very f before the final battle, then you actually uh, then then you're actually safe if you use any continues. Wow, that nice double kill there. And there we go. Good. That was decent. So I've heard that Roy's side B is very, very good. That it's basically Cloud's Limit Break Cross Slash, except not with a Limit Break. So that sounds pretty crazy. Okay, this fight. I like to try and walk off ledges here at the very beginning of the match, but I don't know if I'll get the that chance here. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. However, I can hit him in the... Nope. I was gonna say I can hit him in the face with a baseball bat, but uh, did not. Have that happen? Okay, I'm missing a lot here. Go finally actually hit him. And power block to death. Don't think that's going to give me a, a good boost in intensity. No, apparently that was still a nice play. Okay then. In my earlier attempt, I actually did Ready? walk off Ledger's Meta Knight immediately. Ready? Go! And now it's a projectile spammer. Oh yeah, Roy's got to be really careful against Link McLinkington because those bombs are activated by fire and we all know Roy has Tef Fire. I don't know where that beef started, but he just got hit by something mid in mid-air. You got hit by something else in mid-fall? My sword! And yeah, Roy's theme is kind of just fighting sword users. Making use of that enormous number of sword users on the roster. Okay, this fight is really annoying because Gower Plane is enormous. I like to goad him over here and then walk off ledges him. Come here, Monado boy. Okay, got you over there. And there we go. Oh, that was a perfect too. That's my first on-camera perfect. I've got a lot of off-camera perfects with other characters, but that was my... Ironically, with Shulk, I got a lot of perfects. Okay, this fight. This fight is is kind of annoying, especially on high intensities, because Cloud can be a jerk sometimes. Let us hit Cloud with fire materia, I guess? To be honest, I have no clue how the materia system works in FF7. The reason being, my only... Wow, really? My only experience with FF7 is watching challenge runs that don't allow materia at all. So, I have no idea how the materia game mechanics work. Oh boy, this one's going to be kind of a problem, because I think here, yep, we fight all the other Fire Emblem characters. Well, most of them, except Robin, even though he is a sword user. And walk off ledge is one of them. Okay, get down here, you two. Also, we have Roy's victory theme here. 
which is the basis for the victory theme in FE7, but it's not quite, like, it's mostly the same song, but it's a little different. Okay, Marmar is down. Nope. Die, Face Toucher. There we go. No more face touching for you, Face Toucher. Okay, please tell me I got to 9.9. .9. I did. Okay. As long as I use classic tickets to continue at this point, I'm actually safe. I have 9.9 .9 locked in. The question here is, can I beat the final boss? We are on this, uh, yeah, with all, without losing all my tickets. Because the hands, and I do know because I've played this before now, on my failed attempt, that Roy's final boss is the hands. And double hands is, in my opinion, the hardest of all the classic mode end bosses. And I'm using Roy, a character I'm not great with, him being my least favourite Fire Emblem character. So, yeah, this could be very bad. Oh, got stuck there for a bit. And I knew that would break it. Okay. Okay, the distortion is getting closer. I don't think I'll be able to backtrack for those. I don't really care. As I think I said in maths, I consider over 100,000 to be a good benchmark for, th for this. And that's a pretty good score out of that. Okay, now like I said, this is where I get nervous. I've got to kill these two... I might go quiet here for a bit, because I have to kill these two and not waste all of my tickets. Because I really want to get that achievement! Oh no, drill. And combo into the drill. Oh, uh -oh spikes. And... Uh, nice job tossing me onto the, back onto the stage, Master. Uh, I saw that coming, but I just barely couldn't react in time. And there goes my shield. I don't think you can mash out of shield break. Yeah, it looks like you can't mash out of that. Ah, uh, how many tickets do I have? Eleven. Yeah, I've pretty much got this in the bag. So yeah, thank you comments for telling me that if you get 9.9 .9 before the end boss, that you're safe. Because I, there's nothing I hate more than getting to the final boss and having a shot at 9.9 .9 and then dying and not being able to get it. <sighs> Completely missed with the with the uh, up smash there. And you, I know you can mash out of that. So I mashed a bit too much and accidentally up deed. That was not an accidental up either. Wow, nice balancing of the health meters there. Nice balancing of the stuns there. If I do this with only continuing once, wow. Uh oh, there comes the stun, and I'm stunned. This I believe you can mash out of. I, I was just kind of mad at it. Well, I'm dead again. That's two. But I think I've died at least three times on a much lower intensity. Uh, in my first run of this up. Here's the another here's the snap. Yep, so that's another stun attack. We're seeing a lot of stun this fine. Double lasers. Mirrors. Oh, uh -oh drill. Yeah, you gotta react to that pretty quickly. That's the sudden death effect. Okay, one of them's down. And one of them is well and truly down. Pfft, damn it. Yes, I am spamming tickets, but I want that achievement. And why not? Prevents me from ending this at 0% damage, but... <laughs> I won't cut off. Yeah, he is voiced by Ray Chase. Same VA who plays uh, Prince Noctis in Final Fantasy XV. Wow. I wouldn't exactly say that, because I spam tickets to continue in the final fight, but that should get me the 9.9 .9 achievement, at least. And I should, I should be pretty close to the KO 20 Fire Emblem characters in Classic Mode Achievement too. 
And for Roy's credits theme, we have uh, Winning Road slash Roy's Hope, otherwise known as just the Victory is Near theme from FE6. Which is kind of different to the Victory theme from FE7. I said in the fail take that it's hard for me to describe music in technical terms, which is weird since I'm the son of a composer, but I respect people who can, but I don't know, it's just, listen to the two versions, the FE7 version and the FE6 version. You can clearly tell this remix is the FE6 version. Because even though they're very similar, they are subtly different at the same time. Roy's one is a bit more of a, for lack of a better word, bouncier tempo to it. But this is a pretty solid remix. Speaking of which, yeah, I still find uh, FE6 to be my least favourite game in the Fire Emblem series. I know a lot of people really like it. I think I just shot Matthew Mercer's credit there. Uh, I know a lot of people really like it. And that's part of why I don't want to do a playthrough of it on the channel. I'd rather leave playing it to people who do like it. Because if I did a playthrough of that game, I doubt I'd find anything good to say about it. Unless I was... Yeah, I don't know if some people have asked me if I'd ever consider doing a Fire Emblem randomizer. I mean, an FE6 randomizer, maybe, considering that I don't really take that game very seriously to begin with. But, I don't know, that'll be after I've exhausted. Like, it won't be very high on my list of priorities. I personally don't really like randomizers that much, except for comedy value. But, uh, an FE6 randomizer could be pretty funny. Especially one that could potentially change Roy into a better character. <laughs> if I got, like, Percival instead of Roy, that would be amazing. Uh, like, as the main character. But anyway, yeah, Percival's one of the few things I like about FE6. That ends Zephiel and uh, the final boss as well. Not in the gameplay sense, but in the story sense. She's a pretty interesting character, but gameplay-wise, she's a complete joke. And considering how much of a joke Fire Emblem final bosses tend to be, that's really saying something. Like, she's a joke even by FE final boss standard. You can beat her with an untrained Roy. But anyway, if they ever remake FE6, I might be interested in doing a blind playthrough of it, just to see if it changes my opinion on the game or not. But other than that, I doubt I'll really be doing much with FE6 anytime soon, I'm really sorry, but there are plenty of Fire Emblem YouTubers who love that game, so... You can go and watch them if you like FE6. So anyway, that's enough on that. I might show a little bit of footage from the fail run, and uh, yeah, this is pretty great. Uh, I was saying in Marth's one, I got a little bit cut off, that I don't think, like, most of these I don't find all that great, but I like this one. I also like, uh, like Peach's one, which has her getting married to Mario, and the Master of S supports himself, Robin, acting as the celebrant. That's, that's pretty cool. Final results. Rayquaza? Are you enhanceable? To... Doesn't seem like it. That, oh, didn't even get crowd on. Yeah, see, that's not a new high score for me, because I, I continued too much in the final battle. But that should get me the achievement. Yes, I knew it! I, I, would, get, I would get both of them! Huh. Okay, that's interesting. And of course, replenish the classic tickets that I lost. So that, okay, that looks pretty awesome. But yeah, I was wondering where, like, why there was a second spirit for Ike listed that I didn't have. Um, that's a weird image. That's a very, very weird image. O okay then, let's not say anything more about that. Uh, yeah, so I've completely finished the classic mode challenges with that. And yeah, that was definitely not the best run of the end boss, but thank you people in the comments who told me that strategy about getting to 9.9 .9 in the earlier fight so you're safe for the end boss. So, next time, I will be doing Ike's classic mode. And I've got a lot of pressure there because Ike is my favourite character in all of Smash Brothers. So, yeah, see you then.